Well, I'm here with Niels Bergman and we're at the Kimpton Goodland in Fort Lauderdale. And this is Insider Travel Report. Niels, tell me how long has the hotel been open because it looks sparkling new and the room is just simply beautiful. Absolutely. It opened April 14th, so just over five weeks now. And we're super excited to finally be in this market and uh, welcome our guests here. Tell us a little bit about the decor and the design. To me, it looks Art Deco, which is very, very Florida as far as I'm concerned. It certainly is. So we're playing a lot on the heritage of the hotel. It was built in the 1950s and it was one of the first hotels in Broward County with a pool and a tennis court and, uh, and really being the destination. Uh, it was one of seven hotels from the original builder and we're really trying to play heritage on, on that and bringing the old to life um, to really making it a destination uh, with the luscious landscaping and the old uh, style building from the art decor here. Is this building historic? Is there is there any history to it? Yeah, so it is uh, part of the historic buildings of uh, Florida. Uh, it's registered as well. So you can actually find it on the website for historic buildings. Um, and, and really, it was uh, restored to its full um, heritage and, and to its original build. So all the rooms, all the, the hallways are exactly as they used to be um, back in the 50s. Yeah, it, and you're saying 50s now, and I guess it gives me a little 50s spin on it as well. Definitely. Uh, so it used to be, uh, we used to have a bar in here where there was a lot of dancing uh, um, and really live music, and, and it was really a destination, and we're really trying to, to bring that back into the area, uh, kind of off the beaten path, and, and really making it a great way for, for people to hang out and enjoy themselves. Uh, with great wine, great food, and some great drinks. Well, I was able to dine last night in great. the restaurant Botanic, is that correct? That's correct. And um, I had the steak with chimichurri sauce and french fries, it was really good, and I had a watermelon and arugula salad <laughs> and a big foodie, so food That's is great. very important. And I got um, your bartender to make me a margarita. Perfect. Um, and sat outside by the pool, and what I would say about the space is I've never been to Fort Lauderdale, but when I drove in, to me, it seemed, wow, very busy, and a lot of places were very crowded and large, large hotels. So when I came here, I thought, this is really interesting because it's more of a boutique experience, and it does feel like a little bit of an oasis here. It sure is, and that's really what we're trying to create, kind of the, the oasis off the beaten path. Uh, we have all the big box hotels right on the beach. Uh, we're, we're really the only unique a boutique hotel in the market and it's really uh, an escape uh, so to say for locals uh, hotel guests alike to really uh, come here uh, be by themselves and, and enjoy themselves in a, in a more relaxed atmosphere um, away from the big tourist areas really and that's another thing that I um, have enjoyed is that last night I was able to talk to locals and they were sharing with me things to do in the area and I thought that was great that you know you're in a good place when locals want to, to go and eat there. Absolutely. Um, we had a lot of locals come in prior to opening who've been um, eyeing this property for years uh, and we were so excited for us to finally open the doors. And uh, we've seen them uh, daily come in and really just wanting to um, have a small bite, have a drink and really enjoying the, the atmosphere. Here. When I checked in yesterday, um, Corey, who was at the front desk, gave me a little map of the area and a sheet on things to do. And he gave me a list of things that were happening here at the Kimpton, like yoga in the morning. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing. I've stayed at a fair number of Kimptons myself. I'm a okay. fan of the brand. That's great. And I do like the fact that you guys have always interesting robes in the room. That's mm -hmm. one thing. And then just other things, like there was a yoga mat in my room. Tell me about those little extra touches that you put into the rooms here for guests. Yeah, absolutely. So our yoga mats are part of the brand standard. So all Kimsons actually have a, a yoga mat in the room. We also have a, an umbrella. As, uh, as we all know, South Florida can get a little wet uh, sometimes. So it's definitely a, a great uh, addition. Uh, with that, we have steamers and really some, some nice touches in the room for anything that you need. Uh, we're here to help you. For travel agents who are looking to book someone mm -hmm. to come here, or they're maybe looking to book a family or a couple or a group, what are the what would be a typical 
guest and tell me about the layouts of the rooms for different types of guests that you might have wanting to stay here. Yeah, so um, we're a very friendly, uh, family friendly hotel. Uh, we're definitely pet friendly, so there's actually no restrictions on weight, there's no pet fees or anything. We do have you know little dog bowls and a little small welcome uh, sign for all of our furry friends coming in at the, in the lobby. And then for families, we do have a, a great amount of connecting rooms as well. Uh, so most of our king rooms do connect to a double room, uh, so which makes it uh, a great way for families as well to enjoy the facilities. Now, we spoke about this before the interview. <laughs> we both are fully vaccinated, so yes. we did take off, we're distancing a little bit here and did take off our masks. But for guests that are coming in, I mean, we're wearing our masks around the property and I noticed sure. signage telling you things you should and, and you know keep in mind when you're staying here. What Absolutely. are some things that you guys are doing to make sure it's a good stay for people during this unusual time in our history? Yeah, absolutely. We do follow all the, the branded uh, brand standards when it comes to how we clean our rooms, how we clean our public areas. Uh, so we're definitely in line with the Kimpton and ISG ways of, of cleaning and sanitizing your rooms and facilities. So uh, we're still following all the, the CDC guidelines when it comes to, to cleaning and social distancing, especially from, from the staff uh, these days. Uh, the great thing for, for us as a property, we do have a lot of outside space. So guests are less restricted in, in some areas because we have the open hallways to, to our guest rooms. We have the pool decks and kind of the, the little nooks and crannies to, to hang out. So everything is outdoors, so it's um, a little less restricted in, in these ways. The, so ham the hammock out there may be calling <laughs> my name later on. Absolutely. <laughs> It's the most comfortable place, I think, to hang out with the addition of these uh, nice little hanging chairs. Um, it's super comfortable. This morning I got up and I went, came down and had some of the free coffee. <laughs> and then I took my coffee and I walked two blocks to get to the beach. Tell me about this neighborhood. It does seem like it has like a little bit of a neighborhood feel, but a mix of also hotels and other restaurants and things. Yeah, so we're in the North Beach area of Fort Lauderdale. Uh, certainly a, a historic um, area of a lot of small little hotels, apartment buildings, um, definitely more on the residential side. We have some great boutique hotels um, kind of around us, more on the select server side, uh, but definitely uh, a lot of history around here. And I really, the beach, as you mentioned, two blocks away, is, it's a nice, easy walk uh, to get there, and you're really in the middle of everything. When it comes to that, uh, you have all the kind of big box hotels around there. But uh, this is a really nice area, especially it's more quiet. It's a great way to to walk around and really enjoy the weather. Uh, in addition, it's a very safe area. We're just uh, steps away from the water taxi and kind of from the inner coastal. So we're kind of in the middle of both. So we're definitely excited to have this location. And you can also choose to bike different places. Absolutely. Actually, I stayed at the Kimpton in Denver and I definitely used the bikes and then it rained on me. That's okay. <laughs> I was out with my bike in the rain, but I was thinking of also taking a spin um, on some of the bikes to check out the area. Absolutely. I think that's a great feature. Yeah, the bikes are available to all of our guests to use and it's a great uh, area to ride your bikes. We're probably five minutes away from a great park uh, where you can take the bicycle through. So definitely you should do it. <laughs> what are your plans coming up? I understand that the roof is going to be open at some point with a pool area there Correct. as well. So we have a, a rooftop uh, bar and lounge concept coming up and launching uh, towards the fall. So we're looking to early October uh, for that area. And it's really a beautiful space with gorgeous views over the downtown area and, and the inner coastal. And the uh, concept that we're finalizing right now will be kind of this Spanish tapas lounge. And uh, it's just gonna be uh, honestly a great place to relax, have some great drinks, some, some mellow music in the background. So really great place to hang out. So if folks are tuning in and thinking about coming themselves or if they have clients that they might want to send here, what would you say overall about the experience and being in Fort Lauderdale too? Because I know Fort Lauderdale draws in a lot of different travelers, both sure. for their own vacation, but also pre and post cruise excursions. 
Yeah, I mean, if you're looking for just a relaxing place that doesn't have the hustle and bustle of, of the larger hotels around here, uh, with a lot of luscious green landscaping, in it, it's really uh, an oasis uh, to hang out. And it's, it's such a quiet area. And I, I feel like the guests I've been talking to and, and being around here is just in such a relaxing atmosphere versus the high traffic areas of the beach. So that's really, if you're looking for, for a relaxing time, this is the place to come for sure. And tell me briefly about your background, because we got to talk a little before this. Yes. <laughs> and I heard about your um, growing up in Germany, which is Correct. a destination. I love Europe, I love France, <laughs> Germany, all those destinations. Tell me about where you're from and how you ended up here. Yeah, so I, um, I'm born and raised in Germany in Hamburg, uh, so that's the north tip of it. Um, I lived there most of my, my early years, and then I actually moved to London for, for a few years. I worked at the Savoy there. Um, definitely a great city and then I was able to uh, come to the US and I was in uh, San Francisco for about four years uh, before moving to New York, um, spent about seven years there and then uh, Atlanta and then down here for the last four and a half years. Uh, so I've been with, with W prior to this for about ten years. And how do you like Florida? I love it. Uh, it's definitely um, a destination where you feel like you're always on vacation so it's a it's a hard uh, time sometimes going to work especially driving uh, around the beach and looking at the ocean uh, but definitely an awesome place to be um, and to work well i know i'm gonna go back to the beach later <laughs> today i'm gonna be by the pool and just really enjoying the relaxation of being here at the kimpton goodman in fort lauderdale thank you guys for joining thank us you. and um, getting to know this new property which is which is great, a little oasis here in Fort Lauderdale. This is Darlene Newman for Insider Travel Report. Thank you so much.